Hi, in this example I want to use a lightning flow to make a selection on certain variables that will define the data that we're going to select. So in this example we're going to say that all we need all the opportunities that, are, that have a certain stage and the close date should be between these time zones or time uh, date fields. Okay, how do we get started? First of all, of, of course, we need a uh, doc config. So the doc config I have already set up, and this doc config has, uh, more importantly, a data source. In the data source, as you can see here, I added certain variables: the variable called stage and the variable called close start uh, date start and close date end. So what I'm going to select here is all the opportunity records with a certain stage, and the stage is defined by my, by my variable, and uh, that are in between a certain, close, a certain close dates. And the close dates are also defined by variables. Now, let's take a look how to get that done. So we want to take the values entered on screen one of my flow, and as you can see, my flow has two screens. Yeah, so we want to move from screen one, take these uh, uh, values, and then use them to select the right data that I need. So on my second screen, I added actually a uh, lightning convert component, as you can see. Uh, these will be here with your uh, custom components. And this is not a component that comes in a managed package of PDF Butler. So if you want to use this component, make sure to connect to our uh, customer success team, and then we can actually provide you this component. This component can be set up with a certain record that you can uh, that you need. Maybe uh, you need that uh, you can select that record in your flow, or it's de uh, dependent on the record from where you start your flow. In this case, we're not going to use that. Uh, we need, of course, a certain doc config. So I'm going to define the doc config ID here. Uh, the height of the viewer. So we want to preview the uh, the document, of course. We don't want to download the document, so I set this to false. Uh, I set the uh, the preview to true, so I really want to sh uh, see the preview, make sure this is set to true. Um, <clears throat> and then there is a set of parameters that I can choose. As you can see, you can choose up to five parameters in this, uh, in this example. If you need more, just contact customer success and we'll see what we can do for you. Now, the first... Uh, uh, parameter is called stage. So this stage here, uh, that's just a text. It's not a the screen component. It's a text. Is actually uh, will actually be used to you on this parameter over here. This stage parameter, and this uh, stage has a certain uh, type. The type in this case is a string. And it has a certain value, and this value comes from the uh, screen component stage that is on our first screen. And the same thing, oh, the same thing we're gonna do actually for parameter two and three, which is the close date starts and the close date ends. In this case, the type is gonna be date, and the uh, value comes from the screen, of course, that we have selected before. Um, if you want to know which types you can use, just uh, go over the, uh, the, uh, the type uh, text here, and there is string, double, date, date time, boolean, and multi-select. Multi-select is a uh, semicolon separated list of uh, values that you can use to uh, actually um, add, uh, add parameters, variables to your uh, uh, queries. Okay, let's see this in action. Uh, so everything is set up and now we're going to select our data. So I'm going to run this uh, flow. If it's uh, linked to a certain screen or whatever, of course, you know uh, that this doesn't really matter. I'm going to say I want to use all the closed one opportunities and the start date and end date is uh, yeah these, uh, these dates. So now just click the next button, then it will run the query as you can see. Uh, the, we have the values immediately. So this is actually the entire selection of all the closed one opportunities on this, uh, um, on this org. And now to really show that it's actually working, let's say that we only want opportunities after, uh, uh, yeah, let's say after February, so uh, let's start in March. Yeah, so only these opportunities we want to see, the ones that were closed after, uh, uh, after February. 
So we're gonna rerun our, our flow, of course. I'm gonna still say closed one, uh, and the closed start date was going to be uh, 2019. And then we're gonna select uh, the 1st of March here. No, that's, uh, sorry, the 1st of March is uh, right here. So 1st of March, 2019. Okay, next. So now we will take these values and create the documents. As you can see, there are far less uh, uh, values now and only the opportunities shown after this period are, uh, yeah, are selected. Well, that's it. That's how you can introduce variables and use these variables to actually show in the previewer your, uh, your, uh, yeah, your data.